Hey guys, it's Dr. Robotnik64. This is a new features video for Minecraft, and today it's for the newest pre release snapshot of the game, which is 13W02A. So, another pre release for the upcoming Redstone update to the game. So, uh, I'm just gonna get right to the features right away. Well, first of all, a major change in this snapshot is that the game now uses a new texture format. Instead of the textures for blocks and items being loaded from a sprite sheet, all blocks and items in Minecraft now have individual folders for their textures. And in these folders, you can find the files for all of the textures for the blocks in the game. Now, the reason they changed the texture format is to make it easier for Mojang to support custom items and blocks in the future. And you can read more about the new texture format on the Minecraft wiki on the Texture Packs page, which I'll link to you in the description of this video, so yeah. The next feature is that they've apparently improved the aim for skeletons, so apparently it's easier for them to shoot you now, or basically they have a better aim. I highly doubt that though, because some of the arrows still actually miss me, and that's pretty much all there is to that. Another feature that's been added in this snapshot is that they made improvements to naming uh, containers and mob spawning eggs. So if you rename a mob spawning egg by using an anvil, it'll apparently apply the new name to the mob that it spawns. It's not really obvious at all because their name doesn't actually appear like when you spawn it, but I guess the game just identifies it as the new name for the mob, so that's what I'm guessing anyway. As you can see here, spawn a horrible green monster. So I'm just going to spawn a creeper here, basically. But as you can see, there doesn't appear to be like a new name or anything, so it's not obvious at all. As for containers, such as chests and trap chests, when you rename them and you open them, the new name will be applied to their inventory. So I renamed the normal chest here to container, so I'm going to place one down here, and when I open it, as you can see, it's called container instead of chest. So yeah. And then I can put the uh, trap chest down, and apparently the game is lagging. It's a trap! So there you go. Now speaking of trap chests, they've also made some improvements to trap chests. Uh, for instance, the redstone signals that it activates can now travel through walls, and that's pretty much all there is to say about that. And it also appears in the creative mode inventory under the decoration blocks. So yeah. The texture for the redstone comparator has been slightly changed. So as you can see, it appears to be a bit more whitish now. And I guess the white stuff is the nether quartz that you crafted with. So yeah. They've made some improvements to the hopper block. As you can see, it now has an inventory icon, and if you look closely, its texture has also been slightly changed as well. Hopper blocks can now be activated by redstone signals as well. So I'm going to put some stuff here in the chest, and I'm going to place it down there so that the items can fall into the hopper. And uh, so I'm going to get some redstone here, and then I'm going to place a lever down here. Now as you can see, it's taking the items from the chest, but, if I actually flip the lever here and the redstone's activated, as you can see, it's no longer taking items from the chest. And then I turn the redstone signal off, as you can see, it's taking items. Then turn it back on, it's no longer taking items. So yeah. So basically, when a hopper is activated by a redstone signal, it's technically deactivated because it's no longer taking blocks from things such as chests or dispensers and whatnot, so yeah. The crafting recipe for hoppers has also been changed as well you now need to use iron ingots in order to craft it, and there you get a hopper. They've also added quartz blocks into the game, and in order to craft them, you have to place four nether quartz crystals. They're apparently supposed to be crystals in the crafting table in that fashion, and you get a block of quartz. And here's basically what it looks like. So as you can see, it's a bright white block. And according to Jeb, it's supposed to be a milky limestone slash marble type block. And there's also different designs that you can create with quartz blocks as well. There's two other designs, Chisel Quartz Block and Pillar Quartz Block. There's also Quartz Stairs and Quartz Slabs. Now, I actually did not realize this, but apparently Jeb actually released the textures for Quartz Blocks early. Apparently, he released the textures just yesterday. So, yeah. And there was apparently seven textures, so there maybe there could have been more designs implemented, but yeah. So basically, in order to craft pillar quartz blocks, as you can see, you just need to place two quartz blocks in that fashion in the crafting table. And then in order to craft quartz slabs, you need to place three quartz blocks in the crafting table in this fashion, and you get six quartz slabs. So here's basically what the uh, pillar quartz block looks like. So there you go, it has like a pillar design. And there's the quartz slab. And then to get chisel quartz blocks, you need to place two quartz slabs in the crafting table in that fashion, and you get a chisel quartz block. So there you go. And last but not least, in order to get quartz stairs, you need to craft them the same way you would regular stairs, except use quartz blocks, and you get four of them. 
So there you go. Those are the quartz blocks, stairs, slabs, etc. So yeah. So even more decoration blocks in Minecraft, basically. So yeah. They've added a new type of minecart called minecart with TNT. In order to craft it, you need to place a regular minecart and a block of TNT in the crafting table in that fashion, and you get a minecart with TNT. Now, as the name would insinuate, the minecart with TNT is a minecart with a giant TNT block in it. Now, in order to activate the minecart with TNT while it's traveling on rails, you need to craft another new item called an activator rail, which you can do by placing six iron ingots in the crafting table in that fashion. Now, the activator rails are sort of like powered rails because they need to be activated by redstone in order to work. As you just saw right there, I put a block of redstone to activate it. And here's the minecart with TNT. So there you go. It's, it's a block of TNT inside a minecart. So I'm just pushing it over to the activator rail here. So I'm just still pushing it. And as you can see, the TNT block gets activated. And then it explodes. So there you go. Now, you can actually use powered rails as well in order to detonate them. But apparently it's supposed to be a bug. But you could still try anyway. Now, you can also detonate it by derailing it. So as you can see, I actually pushed it back there, and it actually exploded. And when it derails, the explosion is actually more violent. So yeah. So here's another one, and I'm going to push it off the uh, track as well. So I'm just pushing it there, and as you can see, it explodes. So yeah. So there you go, that's the minecart with TNT, basically. So another way to destroy your grief worlds in Minecraft. And apparently they can't be placed on the ground either, so they have to be placed on rails, so yeah. They've also made some changes to abandoned mine shafts. Apparently, instead of chests spawning in abandoned mine shafts, they now spawn with mine carts with chests. So I created a super flat world here, and as you can see, here's a giant abandoned mine shaft that's basically floating. And as you can see right there, there is a mine cart with a chest in it, so yeah. And I guess in order for it to actually spawn, it's been placed on a rail, so yeah. And also, another thing can actually spawn in abandoned mine shafts now, enchanted books. So as you can see, I found a enchanted book with projectile protection 4. So you can find some pretty good uh, enchanted books here in, in abandoned mine shafts now, so yeah. So this one has just some generic items. So yeah, so instead of chests, they now spawn with minecarts with chests, so yeah. They've also apparently added a lot of new death messages for like when the player dies. And, uh, well, I didn't really want to do all of that because that was kind of time-consuming, but I'm going to read here from a list on the Minecraft wiki of apparently some of the uh, new death messages that have been added. Player fell off a ladder, fell off some vines, fell out of the water, fell from a high place, fell into a patch of fire, fell into a patch of cacti, got finished off by player slash mob using weapon, and player slash mob can be anything for, like, creepers or skeletons and whatnot and weapons could be any item in the game as well, so yeah. So there's some new death messages anyway. And now onto some bug fixes in the game because I believe that's pretty much all the new features that they've added in this update, so yeah. Or this pre-release snapshot, I should say. But some of the bug fixes are fix minecart sound getting stuck on long cart rides and getting bumpy or choppy. Fix joining slash updating servers taking very long. Fix clicking quickly in succession in GUIs ignoring clicks. Fix inactive detector rails giving redstone signals through solid blocks next to them. Fix an item duplication bug with the hopper. Fix cacti growing way too fast. And fix byte reading code sometimes reading the wrong bytes. So yeah. And unfortunately, even though there are bug fixes in this update, there's actually some new bugs in this update. So as you can see, this may look like a furnace, but it's actually a dispenser as you just saw right there. So apparently dispensers use the same texture as furnaces. So as you can see, it even says dispenser. And the furnace itself seems to be glitched as well, because the inventory icon uh, appears to be uh, wrong. When breaking a minecart with TNT, the only drop that you get is the minecart itself, so the TNT basically gets lost when you craft it. And another thing is that there also seems to be lines in between the blocks. So as you can see, there almost appears to be like lines flashing across my screen. Blocks will sometimes appear invisible. And as you can see right here, I actually got stuck. And as you can see, there was also a floating minecart with chest. So I basically got stuck here, and re-entering the world appears to fix it, so yeah. And as far as I know, that's pretty much all of the new features, bug fixes, and new bugs that were added in Minecraft Snapshot 13W02A, so yeah. So as usual, if you want to download the new snapshot, the link is in the description of this video, and you can also purchase this game at Minecraft.net, so yeah. But that's pretty much it for now then. 
So anyway, this was a new features video for Minecraft 12, uh, 13W02A, I should say. This is Dr. Robotnik64, thank you for watching, and if you want, feel free to like or favorite this video, or maybe subscribe. And also, feel free to follow me on Twitter, as I post alerts about videos I recently upload to there, and the link to my Twitter account is in the description of all my videos, including this one, so yeah. But that's it for now, so I'll see you guys in the next video that I make. Later.